Crump Theater has stood along 3rd Street in Columbus, Indiana for over 130 years. While not confirmed, it is possible that the Crump is the oldest theater in the state of Indiana. Its venue is a place of history and holds a great amount of significance within the local community. From the time of its opening to today, the Crump has hosted numerous traveling roadshows, live orchestras, and moving pictures. It has gone through many changes over the years in both appearance and purpose but the site is still well known and appreciated by those who reside in the city of Columbus. J.S. Crump's dream of bringing an opera house to the small town of Columbus came true in October of 1889. His new theater was built off the back of a pre-existing three-arched building facing 3rd Street in the downtown area. A massive arch formed the entrance through which a spacious room decorated in a Romanesque style was found. The lobby had two staircases that led up to the balcony, and there was also the box office, which had a large sliding glass window and an art window on each side of it. At the end of the lobby was the entrance to the auditorium. Inside were the chairs, which had a red plush back and perforated mahogany seats. There was also the balcony, which projected over the orchestra circle, and then the stage. The entire interior of the new Crump Theater was filled with ornate decorations and architectural details. It was elaborate and quite dazzling for its time. In 1920, the theater closed for several months for renovations. The overall cost was around $50,000 and featured additional space, new and more comfortable chairs, and a mezzanine floor. The corded seating capacity for the theater after the renovations was more than 2,000. Most of the changes made during the renovation were to accommodate the newest form of entertainment, the moving picture. In addition to the interior changes, the exterior of the building saw a dramatic change. The original three arches were removed and replaced with a stucco front. Eleven years later, in 1931, the Crump Theater was sold to a new owner, Louis E. Holwager. With this purchase, the new owners had plans to modernize the building and update the exterior. These renovations occurred in 1941 and changed the exterior of the theater for the last time. The existing canopy and stucco front were replaced with lights and a new vitro light front. A new marquee was also added, which was a 45-foot sign that featured 5-foot letters spelling out the word crump. The theater as seen today looks much like it did after these renovations occurred. In 1997, the crump stopped showing movies, but community events were occasionally hosted there for several more years. Due to fire and safety hazards, the Columbus Fire Department closed the theater for good in 2014. For several years now, the building has been vacant. The iconic facade that was created in its 1941 remodel is still impressive, but part of the exterior now has missing panels and paint peeling off the walls. The interior is in even worse condition, where mildew, stained wallpaper, and crumbling plaster have ruined its appearance and atmosphere. Efforts to save the Crump first launched in 1995, but no progress has been made to save the historic building. In 2018, The Republic, Columbus's local newspaper, published an article about a downtown plan for the reuse of the old theater. The plan included a vision for an adaptive reuse of the building, as well as the addition of a hotel and conference center next door. Since these concept plans were introduced two years ago, no changes have been made to the building. Now that the Crump has sat vacant for several years, the current threat to its existence is its needs to become a fully functioning venue again. A plan for the revitalization of downtown Columbus, known as Vision 2020, contained ideas for the restoration of the Crump Theater. Those in charge of the plan calculated an estimated cost of $2 million to bring the theater back to the condition it was in in the 1950s and 1960s. In addition to the major cost of restoring the building, a lack of community interest could put the Crump in a risky position. Those who have memories of attending the Crump Theater as children will eventually pass on, and the new generation may not show as much concern for saving the historic site. If no interest is shown in the restoration of the Crump Theater, it may eventually be torn down and become yet another parking lot. The Crump Theater holds a piece of the past that is unique to the city of Columbus. While the building is no longer in great condition, an investment of time and money would preserve its physical aspects and the history that grows along with them. Both the interior and exterior of the Crump contain architectural features well worth preserving. Even though a significant amount of effort would be required to renovate and maintain the Crump, the efforts would be worthwhile. As a site that dates back to earlier times in Columbus, the Crump Theater should continue to stand and benefit its community.